Hello everyone, welcome to another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Homebrew on your PS3 custom firmware hen. For an example, in this video I'll be using a hen PS3. So let's get started. By the way, if you're on hen, make sure you have enabled hen. So yeah, do that before anything else. And other than that, we are going to need a USB stick again and we're going to need a computer. You can do a phone. I could make a video using your phone, but I'll have to use iPhone as I don't have Android. But anyway, I'm going to show you on the computer, so let's go there now. Grab your USB stick. Okay, at the computer, plug in your USB. Like so. And it should be formatted into FAT32. So just leave the USB here, and then next you're going to want to go on to Google and type in PS3 Homebrew, and click on this site here. And then what you want to do is go to Multiman, and then click on Multiman, and then there you go. There's some downloads here of different ones if you're on Hen. This one's more recommended for Hen. But the base version and the mod version are pretty much the same. I'd recommend the base version or unofficial multi-man. So that's it, download. There's also previous versions as well, if you want to check them out. There's a lot. So I'm just going to download the base. So hit download. All right, when that's downloading, head back to Homebrew, to the main page, and scroll down to you see Webman. Right here, Webman mod. And uh, again, get some previous versions if you want. I'm going to go with the this one right here. The latest one. Uh, this is a really good tool, and there you go. Multiman has just finished downloading. Let's download a webman as well. And there you go. Alright, once you have both homebrews, um, you can just put both of them onto your desktop. So it looked like this, and all you got to do now is pull up your USB again. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of tabs open, just ignore them. I was uh, busy doing stuff with editing my videos. Uh, drag these two homebrews onto the root of the USB, let them transfer over, and there you go. Once that's done, all you gotta do now is eject the USB stick. Go back to the PS3. See you there. Okay, at the PS3, we're going to plug in the USB stick. It doesn't matter what port you put it in for the homebrews. Plug it in like that, as you can see, it pops up. Now you got to go to Package Manager, Install Package Files, go on to Standard, and there you go, you'll see both of your homebrews there. Just click X on one of them, and it starts installing. Alright, that's good. Done that one. So now it will appear uh, here, as you can see right there. And then do the same thing with the other one. Just go back into Package Manager, Install Package Files, Standard, Webman Mod. I believe you do need a working internet connection for these homebrews to install. I'm sure you do. I can't remember though. On the PS3, by the way, you need a, your internet on. Webman does take a little longer than Multiman, but there you go, it's done. Alright, you've got both homebrews now, so all you got to do now is load them up. So let's load up Multiman first. So there you go. If this is your first time installing it, it will have to install to the hard drive. So yeah, there you go, it's installing, 
please wait. And there you go. So yeah, this will always pop up. Apply on the standard theme. Please wait. Uh, this thing will always this thing will pop up here now. The icon. You might be hearing music on your side, as that's what comes with this homebrew. I'm going to show you how to shut down the music. It's very simple, very easy. Um, so you won't have any of these. By the way, this is used to copy games to your PS3. Use it a disc or you know your own discs, stuff like that. Pop them in, and you can copy them. I could do another video on that at some point if you want. So let's head over to settings and quickly. So it looks like the XMB screen a little bit. Scroll down to theme audio and disable that. A few more things I would change is this, the timeout screen. I'll click disable on that, by the way. And system audio off, if you were transferring big files or stuff, you want to disable that because you don't want your console to shut off. Screen saver, I would also disable that too. Other than that, I think that's about it for this one. And then you can check your system information right there. It will give you your IP. Uh, we'll talk about FTP stuff in another video because you can use this to FTP. Um, file manager is like this. It looks like a desktop and don't go messing with this if you don't know what you're doing. But you can do a lot of stuff with this. But for now, we'll just leave it. And then to go back, you can press this on in here and press some stuff here. Uh, you can double click on this, and if you click X and then circle once, you'll get a, basically this will pop up some more options. So, yeah, you can do that. And you can open up more than one of these PS3 routes as long as you've got something else opened up. And if you don't know how to use this, you use the left uh, analog stick to move the folder and the right analog stick to move the cursor or the mouse. And then you, you press X on things or you double click on it if you want to go into it. And then you just can close them. And then if you want to go back to the page we were before on, just double click on this game controller. It will take us back here. That's it basically how to use... Um, multi-man or what it's for uh, it's a really handy tool definitely recommend it um, there's two ways to quit out of it you can just hold circle and quit that way or you can go to here and hit quit all right and that will take us back to the x and b screen which is what this screen is called what we're on now so now let's go ahead and install our webman so I'm just going to quickly, yeah, I did disable the sounds because that multi-man music is copyright. Uh, by the way, if you want to install Webman Mod, I recommend you to hold, get the full version by holding L1 and X together like so. And it does this. It does a little bit of, re it does a reboot. See, it says installing webman mod full. Alright, and now we're back on here. So, if you're on custom firmware, you will probably be hearing your fans going pretty loud at the moment. And as soon as you enable hen, you also will hear it. So, let's enable hen for me. I'm going to show you how to shut them off. You would already see if you're on custom firmware a Webman Games folder. You might be able to hear the console in the background. So just close that. So you will get another thing now called Webman Games. So if you go into this, this is where your games will appear from Web uh, Multiman, you know, the ones you had, if you did have any of them. And then Webman setup right here. If you ever want to install it or something like that, you can just go down to here and click on sort as well. You can update it as well through here. Again, you can use this to FTP things. Um, you can do a lot of things with this. Webman setup right here. 
that's what you want to go into and you can change your fan speed here make sure this is set to manual and you can set this to whatever you want just don't go too crazy with it like go over the top because you don't want it to break and yeah there's other things in here too um, the IDPS and MEMS uh, this is your SID basically uh, make sure this box is ticked because sometimes it can not let you sign in to PlayStation if that isn't ticked pressing these will reveal it and you don't want to do that if you're, uh, if it's your original IDPS and PSID so I'm going to keep those hidden another thing is you can go to here and click on X and B in-game pad shortcuts and you can change things here or enable things if you're planning on using RTM tools and stuff if you, for hen come here and it says PS3 mappy see it says disabled just make sure you enable that and then you can come down to save and your fans will go normal again and you can either click restart here or you can click it here and that will restart your system and there you go everyone that is how you install and set up webman and multiman and i hope you enjoyed and if you did uh, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and other than that i'll see you all in the next video bye for now